everybody, this morning I'm in Westfield, Indiana, and we're gonna answer a question that I hear from time to time about Westfield. Question is, is all of Westfield new? We know Westfield to be a rapidly growing city on the north side of Indianapolis, so we're gonna get into that question a little bit and what that answer might be. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Combs with the Compton Home Group. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in a place like Westfield, Indiana, or of course Indianapolis, Indiana, or any of the cities and towns that surround Indianapolis, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also tap the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. Now we have people reaching out to us from all over the country. Questions about Westfield, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, nearby Carmel, Indiana, Noblesville, Indiana, Avon, Indiana, Brownsburg, Indiana, I mean, you name it, the cities and towns that surround Indy and Indian itself. So if you have questions at all about any of those places, then make sure you reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have your back with those questions. And we'll certainly have your back when it comes time for you to make your move to the Indy Metro. Again, this morning I'm in Westfield, Indiana on a really nice summer morning. And I'm walking along a neighborhood that is in kind of the southernmost portion of Westfield and a little bit to the west of US 31. So where Keystone Parkway and US 31 combine, that meets up with 146th Street. And that is a very, very busy area, very commercial area. So just about everything that you could imagine is there as far as shops and stores. It's gonna be missing some things, but there's a lot there. So you've got Walmart there, you've got Best Buy there, you have Clay Terrace, which is a big outdoor mall in Carmel. So that's another thing about 146th Street is that 146th Street runs east-west and it's generally the border between Carmel and Westfield. Carmel to the south of it, Westfield to the north of it. But the corridor there is a little strange sometimes. You could get into a neighborhood like this one and on your address, it'll actually say Westfield, Indiana, but you might be in Carmel Schools. So you're still in Carmel School District with a Westfield address. And then you can get the opposite of that in different places along 146th Street. So if you're moving here and you wanna make sure you're in Westfield Schools District, then you need to make sure that your Westfield address also is in Westfield Schools. And if you're in a Westfield address and you wanna be in Carmel School District, that's actually an option outside of being in Carmel with a Carmel address. So this particular part of Westfield, I'm gonna talk about a little bit because Westfield is a place that I know very well. Actually, when I moved to the Indianapolis area, I actually moved to Indianapolis in the 90s and I worked in Westfield for 16 years as a teacher at the high school, a science teacher at the high school and taught a number of different things zoology biology anatomy physiology astronomy some really cool subjects at least i think so for 16 years and then i got into real estate over 10 years ago and so i have seen westfield really really grow up when i started there in the 90s so this is before the year 2000 there were still under 10,000 people in westfield and then from about 2000 to 2010 the population growth was over 200 percent so it grew that much now Back then, before 2000, actually in 1990, there was only, there was less than 4,000 people in Westfield. And then around 2000, just under 10. And then when you get to 2010, there was well over 30,000 people. And now, past 2020, this video is being shot in 2022 actually, there's close to 50,000 people in Westfield. So when you look back at, let's say 1990 to 2000, Pretty good population growth there, pretty good. I mean, we're talking a handful of thousands of people, but then from 2000 to 2010, that was explosive. So past 2000 up to today, most of Westfield had to match that population growth. And that included the school. So when I started there at the high school, there were under 700 kids in the 90s at the high school, and now there's approaching 2,500 or so. So it's really, really grown. It hasn't split off into a different high school, but of course there have been a number of elementary schools built. In fact, there was only one elementary school when I started at Westfield. And that year that I started, the first elementary school off of the campus of Westfield actually opened. It was Shamrock Springs Elementary. There have been multiple since then, but there have been a lot of additions to the high school. So they've added on wings and added classrooms and all kinds of things to accommodate that growth. And they've done really a pretty good job with that, considering how fast things are going. That's really difficult for a city, that's really difficult for a school system to keep up with that kind of growth. But when you start looking back at homes, a neighborhood like this one here, this would be a pretty good indication that that question is all of Westfield new, because if it grew from under 10,000 people to over 30,000 people in 10 years, 
from 2000 to 2010. That is where a lot of the growth actually happened in Westfield. And of course, a lot of the new construction, the homes, the buildings, just about everything that you see, a lot of it happened during that time period. And more of it happened, of course, from 2010 to 2020. And it's continuing to happen now because Westfield is still growing. It's not growing at that, that rate that it was before, over 200% but it's still absolutely growing. It's gonna be well over 50,000 in the next 10 years, without a doubt. It'll probably push 60 and maybe more than that at some point. So it's really, really growing fast for sure, even though it has slowed a little. But from 2000 all the way up to now, that is what you're going to see as a majority of the home's ages. Now you can get into some historic homes in Westfield that were built in the 1800s, early 1900s, but there really aren't that many of those. So, and if you do find one, they can be in all different states of, of condition. And that's definitely not the home that a lot of people are really interested in anyway. You can certainly find new construction in Westfield, absolutely can, and you can find newish construction in Westfield. So when I say newish, because new really should mean brand new. Newish construction, I would say is probably a home that's under 10 years old or so. So still relatively new. We're still looking at HVAC systems, roof that has a little bit of age on it, but, and it's not to the point where it's ancient and old and it probably still has some life left in it especially the roof. Under 10 years old, that's definitely okay. It's a lot of life left in that roof. But HVAC system, it could be approaching midlife somewhere in there. And if it's well cared for, maybe not quite midlife. But you can still find homes that were built in the 80s and 90s in Westfield. Now it's not gonna be a tremendous number, but a neighborhood like this, when I'm west of US 31, going down 146th Street, you can actually find some neighborhoods right along 146th Street on the north side that are gonna have that. So they're gonna have a little bit of age on them. And actually, a lot of these homes, they're gonna be a little less expensive than a lot of your newer construction homes. They're also gonna have lots that are a little larger, but of course, given that they were built in the 80s or 90s, they do have some age, and so they can have some different issues that just come up typically with age. Like, has the roof been replaced? Has the HVAC been replaced? And then a number of other little items that you can go throughout the house. But that could also be the type of house that somebody's looking for. Maybe not brand new, a more established neighborhood where you got more mature trees, larger lot, and 80s, 90s type of layouts in homes. Because some people really like those things. So you can find open, you can find more compartmentalized type floor plans. You can find a variety of things. And you're not gonna find oftentimes the largest homes. So you're not gonna find 5,000 square foot homes very likely through neighborhoods like this but you can find some pretty reasonable sized homes. You can buy three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedroom, a pretty good mix. But when people ask me, is all of Westfield new? Most of them I say, well, a lot of Westfield is at least newer than the year 2000 because that's when that explosive growth really happened. And then some of Westfield isn't all that new. Some of Westfield is in the 80s, 90s, and so we're talking more than 30 years old. We're talking even 40 years old in some cases. And then you get kind of back to the extreme of the really old homes like the late 1800s, early 1900s homes, which are definitely a whole lot more rare. A lot of people will say Westfield just seems too new to me. It doesn't seem that mature. And that may be one of the reasons they may not want to be there. But of course, new, more on the ground floor, I guess you could say for neighborhoods and getting into a home that's extremely nice, new, you don't have to worry too much about things. That's another thing that some people want. So people are on opposite ends of the spectrum. But just know that Westfield isn't all entirely new. It doesn't mean that your options are gonna be absolutely crazy as far as how much you'll actually have to choose from, but you probably will have at least something to choose from. So if you have questions at all about Westfield, Indiana, any place in it and how it might be the best fit for you or maybe not, then reach out any way that you know how. And until the next one, we'll see you later.